welcome back to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. During this Black History Month, we're taking a look at several landmarks in the city that are being renamed in honor of outstanding trailblazers who have definitely made a difference. Milwaukee's Wall Park, located at 4750 North 48th Street, was recently renamed Harriet Tubman Park. Harriet Tubman, of course, is remembered as a celebrated abolitionist, conductor on the Underground Railroad, and Civil War spy and nurse. I'm happy to be joined by the woman who sponsored the resolution, Milwaukee County Board Supervisor Soquana Taylor, who represents the second supervisory district, and she's also the first vice chair of the board. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Well, stay warm, but I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do that these days. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. So in September of last year, the Milwaukee County Board voted to rename Wall Park. And last month, the sign bearing Harriet Tubman's name was unveiled, which was pretty amazing. Talk about how this all came about and why it is so very important. Um, well, um, thank you for this opportunity to come on. Yes, yeah, so actually we voted in September, but even before the vote, there was a process um, that has to be taken when you think about naming a park or renaming a park in a district. Um, and Wall Park, like you said, is off of 47th and Hampton. It's a primarily African-American neighborhood. And in these days and times, not just because of what's been going on the last 365 days, but as a black woman who grew up in Milwaukee, I think that it's a great thing and it's more needed to see things or people that look like us, history about us and things of that nature. And, and so the idea came about just talking with some people about what do you see when you insert areas of the city? Um, and one of the things that came up is I don't always see statues or things or places that remind me of our history, let alone people that look like me. Um, and seeing Wall Park is one of the parks in my district, I began to think about what would it look like to rename it. Also, Alderman Khalif Rainey was very instrumental in this. He used to be the county supervisor of this district. Now he's an alderman. Um, he also covers that district. We had a conversation too, was kind of brainstorming, thinking about some names then decided that I will also send things out to the community. I didn't want the park to be renamed Harriet Tubman just because I wanted it to be Harriet Tubman, but I wanted the community to be a resemblance of the people that live there. And overwhelmingly, Harriet Tubman was the name. Um, a great pioneer, actually did come through Milwaukee. Um, we we're thinking it was more about the Fond du Lac Park. So we are actually part of the Underground Railroad, just not at Wall Park. Yeah, and I also read that in Milwaukee, the Samuel Brown Farm, located in what is now the Lindsay Heights neighborhood, has been documented as one of the stops that helped people escape yes. slavery from the South. So when you think about that alone, uh, it's well-deserved. And uh, it gives you chill bumps when we see these movies that have been done on Harriet Tubman oh and just see God, how yeah. strong and brave and resilient she was. Uh, I can't think of a better name to go on that sign. So I thought it was important to talk to you about that today. So uh, some of your goals are to hold educational spaces in the park after we get past this pandemic uh, to teach youth and members of the community and maybe people who are just visiting uh, about the importance and the significance of historic pioneers like Harriet Tubman, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so renaming the park is just one of the steps that I like to take. I would like for us to become more informative of who Harriet Tubman was, along all of the great shoulders of those that we stand on. Um, don't know when we'll be out of the pandemic, but hopefully able to do something this summer that has social distances in as well too. And just having different stations that people can travel with their family or children throughout the park and just look at some of the history and how presently we can make a difference. Yeah, and of course, uh, the bust of Christian Wall, who was a 19th century German immigrant and architect of the Milwaukee County Park System, uh, that's going to be moved to his beloved Lake Park. So uh, yes. nothing is going to be, you know, kind of left to the side or oh. left out. There is just respect across the board with everything that has taken place. And I think that this is all like perfect timing because uh, when you think about the fact that uh, there's that effort to put uh, Harriet Tubman's face yeah. on the $20 bill, and that effort is actually uh, being sped up by the Biden administration. It just kind of puts the cherry on top, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Just the, a humbling opportunity 
um, a great thing to do. But like I said, once again, it was the community effort to push this forward along with me. Yes. And so if you would, in wrapping up, tell us uh, some of the other things that you have going on uh, there in your district that you'd like to share with those who are watching. Um, I'm always trying to be um, more available, but also um, a, a platform in the community, but with the community. So one of the things that I say is we make it happen in a second. That means um, I want people to live, eat, and have fun here. And, and so if you don't live in, out, consider one of the best districts in Milwaukee. Check us out. We're from Midtown all the way out to County Line Road. Um, but I have a lot of organizations that do have that. Um, if their employees decide to live in this district, they have a program that they can go through where they can live, eat, and play here. Um, we do a McGovern night out. We couldn't do it last year because of the pandemic, but it's a way that we all come together in the park to eat, to have fun. Um, the community comes out, law enforcement, organizations, businesses, jobs. Um, and some of the things that I continue to do is cleanups and just making sure I'm there for my community um, and that we are working this together. Absolutely. Well, I thank you so much for coming on today and just sharing this information with us. When it all first happened, of course, uh, many people were proud and happy, but I just wanted to kind of get that uh, extended information on just how it all came about and why it was so very important to the community there in the second district. Thank you so much for all that you do. No, and thank you all for this opportunity again. Have a great day and stay warm. You too. Milwaukee County Supervisor Saquana Taylor represents the second district and she's also the first vice chair on the board. To find out more about her and where she stands on the issues, you can visit county.milwaukee.gov. When we return to our issues, Milwaukee will be joined by Deshay AG to discuss the Milwaukee Common Council's recent vote to rename Old World Third Street to Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. We'll do that right after.